We often think of the shoulder joint as the humeral head smoothly rotating in the glenoid fossa like this. So we think it kind of looks like this, the humeral head, the golf ball, rotating on the glenoid fossa, the golf tee. But if we zoom in really close on the joint surface, that's not exactly what's happening. At the joint surface, there's actually a process of the humeral head rolling up and then gliding down to stay centered. Roll and glide, roll and glide. And we call this joint surface interaction arthrokinematics. Importantly, this arthrokinematic relationship is established by the structures around the shoulder. The passive structures like the labrum that is made up of connective tissue and deepens the joint but also the active structures like the rotator cuff musculature. Studies like this show us that fatigue of the rotator cuff muscle can change the arthrokinematic relationship of the shoulder to increase glide of that humeral head. More glide and displacement of the humeral head can potentially irritate sensitive structures of the shoulder causing pain. Targeted strength training with quality rotator cuff drills involving shoulder external rotation and shoulder stabilization coached with good posture and in good positions can address this rotator cuff fatigue and improve shoulder symptoms. Comment biomechanics to learn more shoulder biomechanics with 3D advanced animations in our CEU approved course, Anatomy and Biomechanics of Movement.